Hi, everybody. This is a wee bit of alchemy. I'm Rick Burke. Welcome. Uh, several things came up, and uh, let's start with the an understanding of Sung. So there's some questions about what's going, what exactly is going on there. So Sung, the way that uh, I learned it is S-O-N-G. Um, uh, some people pronounce it Shung. Um, um, I have to, to research that a little bit more, but the, um, um, the basic idea with Sung is that it's not just relaxation. It used to be just translated as relax, and that was Sung. So, uh, so you learn to, to just let go of muscular tension and then and you're Sung. It's not exactly what we're looking for there for, for Sung. But it's something uh, quite a bit more than that. That's a good start, and that's a that's a beginner's approach. That's like okay, if someone has no idea what it means to let go of muscular tension, you start there, and you just sort of like just introduce you know the concept to them. But uh, very soon, you want to give them something more. And that is, what am I relaxing into? Because to relax just to relax itself is not going to help you whenever you're you're performing say a martial art um you know if you're if you say oh totally relax well if you're totally relaxed you're a puddle on the floor you don't really have any there's no structure that is uh that is there to do work for you so sung means to the way i've defined it is that it's to relax into the intrinsic structure of the body mind. So this has layers to it, but the essence is that you are letting go of muscular tension, which then allows you to access something which is a little deeper. And on a structural level, on a physical level, on a substantial level, that thing is your connective tissue system. So if you do not have something that you can relax into, you're just going to tense up again it's the minute that you are provoked in any way. As soon as there's a challenge to the, to the system, you're going to get tense again because you don't know any better. The, that is the way that you know, we learn how to move in, you know, on this planet and, and by, you know, by the, the brain signals, the motor neurons, to contract, and that allows us to propel our body into various movements. So that's that is the way that that we we learn, and it's largely successful for a lot of people. And um, where you run into a problem, though, is when the brain gives cross intentions, where things. There's an intention and a counter intention, and then you get muscular tension. That is where there's a these two forces collide, these two intentions collide, and so then you start to hold things very tight, your neck, your shoulders, etc. You start to clench your piriformis muscle in your butt, you know, whatever. So you then a lot of your energy gets gobbled up just in fighting yourself. When you sung, you let go of that and you, you relax into your connective tissue system. And sort of a way to visualize it, it's not exactly a, a representational, but it's a, it's a way of visualizing it. If, if uh, the way we, um, when we're using just muscular tension, it's like I have a chair here and I'm gonna, Sit down, almost down, but I'm, I don't want to sit down all the way into the chair. So I'm using my muscle power to keep my body erect, to keep my body elevated. So I'm, there's this constant outpouring of energy rather than doing it. So when I relax into my connective tissue system, it's like, ah, oh, there's this deeper layer that allows me to let go of that muscular tension and still give me support. And actually, it gives me more support. 
and more effective power than that muscular tension does. And since we don't really explore that, we don't trust it. So learning to be sung is to learn to trust that connective tissue system so that we then are not using a whole lot of muscular force or li, li, uh, to, to execute uh, our motions. And when we do that, we then start to access the coherence of the body, body mind. That is, the whole system works together at a much higher order. And so it's much more efficient. And there's a, an effortless power that comes out of that. So the muscular tension tends to kink the hose. So we, we're bunching up and, and so the energy gets stuck at the local place. So if I, if I tense my, my biceps muscle, this everything gets locked up here and I'm not connected to my, to my feet. But if I just relax and relax into my connective tissue system, and extend so that I can feel that all the way down through my body into my feet. And, and I feel the connection with the floor then. I feel the connection with the whole, the whole system when I do that. It's because I'm not focusing on, on tensing up. I'm not pushing up, thinking about pushing away. I'm thinking about just reaching and extending. And that creates, there's a quality called tensegrity that is one of the qualities of the connective tissue system which is sort of this elongation is sort of stretching that occurs whenever, whenever they it pulled. And then when that happens, then it unifies the whole system. So when we are relaxed into the connective tissues and into the support of the connective tissue system, when we're reaching and extending, then it's kind of like um, whenever you're tuning a guitar string, you're kind of pulling that you know, if it starts as limp and then you and so you it gets toned. So it creates a uh, uh, it, it's then useful because it's in this it's the tensegrity of the system is is addressed. And so that and very similar to the guitar string, whereas the guitar, you know, the string, if it's if it's um, completely relaxed, then it's not connecting up the neck with the, the base of the guitar, so you're not getting any sound. Whereas if you tone it up and create that tensegrity, then you the whole guitar resonates as one. So that's what we're looking for in the body mind. So when we get our song, we are not just releasing tension, that's a step but we're accessing the connective tissue system. And as I said before, it's about learning to reach. Everything in Taiji Chuan is about reaching. It's about extending intentionally so that you're feeling, you're creating some, some, some internal um, tensegrity in the, uh, in the connective tissue system. When that happens, then the energy travels much faster, not just much faster. It's like almost, in, almost instantaneous. So the whole system becomes this intense biofeedback mechanism where everybody is listening to everybody else. All your 70 trillion cells are, are dialed in and they're attuned. They're on the same page and they're, they're resonating. So, Yes, it's a very important for your ability to execute a martial art, but it's also very important for your health and well-being. Is the more coherent you are, the more you're able to attune to that, the more that every system is responsive to every other system, and it creates a a, a significant uh, improvement in your in your health and well-being. So there's also, so this is on, a, on a, the physical level, on the energetic level, we have something else we, 
we we in order to do this, we have to shift away from the compulsive doing mode and address the state of being. And we access that by conscious movement and conscious feeling. So that you're actually tuning in to what's going on inside your body mind. This is one term for it is entero, enteroception. That is your ability to, to direct your awareness inside so that you're able to attune to processes that ordinarily are invisible to you. When you do that, then you start to awaken parts of your nervous system which have been asleep. And this opens the door to awarenesses which go way beyond the physical. So then you start to, you become like a, um, uh, like a, a receiver. You are able to attune to energy and information that ex far exceeds the limitations of your physical structure. But it's not an either or thing, it's a both and thing. You get the body together, then you tune in to the, uh, to this ex extra sensory perception and you start to, to perceive things that are beyond what, what is ordinarily considered to be normal. So it's, it's paranormal, supernormal. Um, so, and that's why I, I talk about super consciousness as being a state of body, mind, spirit integration. So that, that state where you're tuning into that more is when you've opened the eye of spirit. You get the eye of, open the eye of flesh by attuning to the, the internal, the eye of mind directs it, directs traffic. And then the eye of spirit is where you're able to then use the eye of flesh, eye of mind, but also access more. So I think that, that's sort of a, a nutshell. So Peter, you asked the question, is there something that more you'd like to get into on that? Is that, is that it handle your question or is that uh, you have uh, something more? I think you're on mute, Peter. That's great. There's a ton to digest in what you, in what you explained. Uh, you know, my only question is how to practice it. The practice, you know, how to, how to do it, the how-to. Okay, and that, uh, um, that's something we do in this class all the time. So uh, I think uh, probably it, for me, the, the best thing to do is just do the three pillars, you know, so get that, establish that as your foundation. And so that's a good thing to, for us to do now, just as a, a way of, of exploring Sung, because the three pillars establishes a structure that uh, where the energy is flowing freely. And it's also you're getting the maximum support from your structure. So let's uh, stand up and do the uh, three pillars and just feel into it. And with the perspective, this time of exploring Sung. Okay, so about to step out. So we're going to really focus on the Sung aspect of all this. So first we wanna do is establish our contact with the earth through the feet. This grounds the energy, but also permits Earth Chi to ascend. It allows the Yang Chi to go down through the feet and into the earth and to dissipate, but also allows the Yin Chi to come up and replenish. So you want to feel your weight centered over the balls of your feet. 
Feel your toes pressing into the earth. Not hard, but just to feel them, just to make that contact. And notice the tension in your legs. And so you want to just relax your knees, just let go a little bit, relax your hips, your butt, and ah, settle in. Almost like a um, the sand in an hourglass dropping down. So you're just allowing uh, that to drop down. You're sinking in. So we're focusing on the relaxation here, relaxing of any extraneous muscular tension. But at the same time, notice that you're not falling down. There is support there your connective tissue system, which is present in every cell in your body. It creates the structure that all the other stuff fills up. Even your bones are part of the connective tissue system. So you feel that. So, you know, you can imagine, get the idea of song like you're standing on the, at the edge of the water on the beach your feet in the sand, and then the waves come in, and each time they go out, you feel yourself sinking deeper into the sand. You notice that your feet is starting to get covered up as you just stand there. You're dropping down into the earth. So this is, we are exploring Sung with regard to the foundation of the body mind here at the, at the balls of the feet. And that sung allows the earth chi to rise and to fill the body. So without letting go of the sung, you reach for the crown of your head and tuck in your chin Open the jade pillow gate. So we have poles in opposition now. The feet are sinking down, the head is reaching up. Your spine is lengthening. The space between the vertebrae is increasing. Even though we're reaching up, there's no tension. But there is tensegrity. You can feel as you reach in opposite directions that there's sort of a tug on the tissue in your body. This is what's getting tugged here is your connective tissue. And there's layers of fascia that run from the bottom of your feet, up your back, up over the top of your head. So you're elongating that. This creates an instantaneous communication throughout the whole body mind. Notice your hands right now. Notice that they're starting to heat up, get tingly, sense of fullness. Reach with the clavicular notch up here. The, the, if your collarbone feel that reaching upward, opening the chest, opening the shoulders. Feel that reaching, opening even more energy, feeling more flow there as you do that, more circulation. Point your index fingers, feel into your, into your hand, feel the energetic coherence that comes by doing that. 
it also signals your connective tissue system to get even more uh, coherent and more the more tensegrity in the system by doing that. Continue to feel yourself sinking into the earth, reaching to the heavens with the crown. Reach with your elbows, open the shoulder joints. Feel the energy rush to your hands when you do that. Find a way to reach with the elbows without tensing the muscles. There's a reaching quality rather than a pushing. And spiral down to the left, and spiral down to the right and feel releasing at your quad, your hip joints, letting go unkinking the hose there. Relax your lower back. Allow your sacrum to drop, your coccyx, while at the same time reaching with the crown, feeling those poles in opposition. So this is Sung in a very uh, stationary posture to get that. So learning how to then take that and, and to bring it into movement. Let's say you point your index fingers, feel your fingers, Feel your, your elbows, feel them reaching out. Now, very slowly, reach with your wrists, let your fingers hang. So you're reaching with the wrists and very slowly and feel into your arms as you do that. So you're reaching, not tensing. The shoulders are very relaxed, you're extending opening, feel the heaviness of your arms, feel the sung, feel the energy in your hands as you do this. Now reach of the fingers, open. And by getting the structure aligned, you can then sink into the connective tissue system and let that do the work for you. And you're moving with Sung. So now reach down with your elbows and your wrists, reach down with the wrists. down with the fingers. Feel the arms hanging, but they're not just limp. They're, they're assuming a structure and the muscles are relaxed, but the connective tissue system is doing the work. Now feel the ball of the right foot, set the right knee spiral down to the left. Your root sung into the right leg. Feel that and then step in with the left foot back to center. 
Take a deep breath. And as you come up, same idea here. You reach with the elbows, reach with the wrists. Feel the sung. The arms are very sung as they're coming up. Feel into that, the interoception. And as you press down, you're letting go of the energy, disappearing it, dissolving that and opening the eye of spirit as you do this. Shifting into a super conscious state, which then allows you to direct the energy <coughs> consciously. Get into the stillness. Great. Take a seat, please. How'd it go, Peter? Uh, that was really good. It was challenging. And I think uh, I began, you know, if I'm not dreaming, I began to feel something, you know, different in the way my arms were moving. It was, it was kind of like, um, sort of like jello, I think. Kind of like a uh, even, evenly, kind of even holistic jello feeling. Cool. <laughs> good, good. Lynn, do you have anything to add to that? You want me to top holistic jello? <laughs> <laughs> um, not to that exactly. I was gonna say a, a more pragmatic note. Um, when we're starting out and doing the, you know, grounding the feet and then expanding, you know, pulling up on the crown point of the head, sometimes um, I forget to then re-release my claw, right? Um, so I think it's really handy, you know, as you're thinking about the top and the bottom to sort of Take a circle around the center and don't let forget the middle. Don't forget the middle. Yeah, and let <laughs> let loose of that uh, of that claw again as you're. Right. Good you're point. Doing it. Yeah. Good point. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> don't forget the middle, Scott. Um, yeah, that was the um, the the beach analogy. It was really good. That was really helpful. Good. Yeah, um, and I've. When we do that, for some reason, I have trouble. Usually, when I get to my, it's great until I get to the elbows, and for some reason, something I'm doing not right with the elbows tenses my neck up. But this time, I I kind of I, I got it. I pretty much got it this time. So it was really that was great. That was very helpful. Thank you. Beautiful. I know I've done all this before. I know we've done all this before, but I really had a lot of aha moments in that whole sequence. Wonderful. Wonderful. Thank you. Every time is the first time. So it's, uh, you know, it, uh, Valerie. Question. <clears throat> um, I know you've said this a million times, but for some people, maybe that this is still new for when you talk about, um, you know, being in the three pillars, can you go one, two, three? without anything in between. What are the three pillars? NJ coherence, central equilibrium, unkink the hose. Okay. Those are the three pillars. Cool. Stan, you had something.
Okay. Uh, I noticed again, uh, and this happens every so often when I'm doing this, I'm following your directions as much as I can. And I noticed the calves seem to be like uh, expanding. Is that right? They're expanding. They're not uh, exactly tense or anything like that, but as if they're expanding. That's why I'm not too sure about that. I'm uh, not quite sure what you mean by expanding. They, uh, they blow up like balloons. Uh, it's sort of like they, balloons, and but they they see, uh, seem very full and all that. But uh, I'm not moving too much, uh, so I I'm just wondering about that. I uh, still haven't worked that out. Okay, well I would say that for most of us. We spend most of our time in our heels, so the calves are not working a lot. And whenever mm -hmm. you go over the balls of the feet, you're lengthening the connective tissue in the calves. So that is causing more energy to go through them than mm -hmm. they're used to dealing with. It also, they tend to get a little fatigued because there's like, hey, wait a minute, you know, we're not, we're not. We're not, re we're not ready for this. So uh, uh, you're going to get more circulation. The more energy there, the more circulation, which is going to, they're going to feel like they're filling up. So I, mm -hmm. I, that would be my hypothesis, my best guess as to what's going on with, with you, with you there. So it's, um, uh, it just means that you have to spend a little more time in your three pillars in center of equilibrium to get that, yes. uh, you know, to, to, to really get that, get that going. Because it's, it's, it's something that I know you've been doing this forever, but yes. still, uh, it falls out if we ignore it for any length of time at all. So mm. you have to go back and, and remember how to do that. Yes. Yes, Scott? Thank you. You bet. Um, yeah, actually, uh, what I realized, the, what it, my problem with my elbow is, um, Reaching out was wasn't really working for me. It was more of a reach down, is what is that seemed that seemed to not tense up my neck. So maybe that'll, maybe that'll help somebody else. Good, and okay. and it starts with with that. You eventually get so you can reach out or up or whatever once you develop a that awareness. But you know, just just to start, just you know, put your put your hand on your chest like that and just reach down with the elbow just so you get the feeling of what that means to open the shoulder joint so you yeah. get that and so you're you're able to do that and so then then you can just do it without without the whole setup there and then you can also do it in in whatever direction yeah you know, but it's first you have to get that awareness of what it means to reach with the elbow because it's not something that we run into a lot and um, it's something that it, but is incredibly uh, vital for for the work that we're doing here but how, how would you do it now how, now do it with your arm down how do it with your arm all the way down like we were doing so no, that, like this, <laughs> like this, boom. no yeah no but you hold you know, yeah like that now so like that so so yeah so you're going down not out right yeah. Right. So, so that, but then you can also go out as well. Right, but but when your arm is down, you're going more of a you're you're going more of a down motion, not an out. Even though we're saying out, right? Yeah. Or am I wrong? When you're going down, when you're going down, it's a down motion. Yes. But when you're standing up and you say move your elbows reach your out el reach out with your elbows right yeah if i try and reach out with my elbows i have a problem i need to think more think of it as more of a down okay so that's just i just is that just a uh, just definitely <laughs> go ahead and go ahead and do that go <laughs> just, down. okay Done. you know um it's it's something that you know you'll see here if i'm doing it you know i'm going I'm reaching out because that's something that's familiar to me. 
but I can I can also reach down. But there's actually it's more fun to get them rounded like this rather than just down. So yeah, there's, you want you want to get the, you want to get it so that you're you have that uh, awareness of it. But you start by you start just by just getting an awareness of, of, of that motion and then you build on that. He could be he could think of going down at a diagonal. Yeah. Maria says go down at a diagonal. So you're here like this, and you're going down at a diagonal rather than not straight down. That's another way of doing it. So you can That's do that like this. You can go like so open that up that way. Yeah, that's that's pretty much what I was doing. I mean, I definitely had the rounded. It was just when I'm rounded and I try and reach with the elbows was the weirdness. Yeah, cool. Okay, Peter. Yeah, you know, I, I don't know if this is relevant, but I, I once learned a very nifty way to go out by going down the arm um, when I was on a meditation retreat. Um, the practice is very simple. You uh, and it's it works better if you're walking along, you know, somewhere outdoors, just walking along in a relaxed way. You don't use any muscular tension in your arms at all, and you use your intent, awareness, intention to move energy down, uh, down into your body, and then out your shoulder, down your arms. So you're running energy down and down your arms without any muscular action at all. And it moves your arms out sideways. They get moved out sideways by that. Does that make sense, uh, Rick? That that just like- uh, well, I, I, I'm not sure that that is an easier way of doing this. I think, okay. that, <laughs> I think that might might be a little, little more uh, uh, off, the, off the beaten track there. So. Uh, I, 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 I hear what you're saying, but I don't think it's a, I think it's okay. easier, easier just to, to okay. do it first as a physical motion okay. and then, okay. and then allow the uh, energy to fill in after that. Okay. Yeah. It was, I mean, I'm, a, you know, as a beginner, it, it was, I was surprised at how easy it was to just run, you know, the energy down and then the, you know, it was very magical, the, you know, so I recommend, you know, just trying it if, if people are interested. Sure, I definitely give that a try. See how that works. Cool. Okay, uh, producer is saying to move things along here, so we're going to. Uh, Are you going to do the tiger thing? Uh, no. No. We got other things going there. Should I? Yeah. We have, we have, we have, we got a couple of, couple of questions here, but let's just do the. Uh, what time we got? We got eight forty one. Oh, we don't, we don't have time for the for the tiger thing today. We'll do that next time. Well, we got the. A spring tiger we got uh, that we'll uh, we'll lay on you next next time. The um, but uh, Jonathan had a question about breaking down the um, award off and really get into the feeling of that. So we're kind of all all three pillared up here. So let's uh, let's uh, do that. So this also fits in with the song idea. So if you can establish a structure that allows the energy to flow efficiently, then you can relax into that and then follow the path of least resistance through the structure, allows you to express the energy, which then becomes chin whenever you're expressed it like that. So um, why don't we stand up? So the, um, let me turn sideways here. The, um, I'm gonna take a step out with my left foot. So the way a ward off, ward off posture in a yang form looks something like, like this. Okay. So the, what's happening is the, the left arm is coming up and this becomes an expansive energy and it, it creates an up and out energy or a um, pong jin. And, um, but in order to be able to express that, you want to have the structure to support the pong. So 
In this case, you want to feel the ball of the left foot. We're just going to go right to the end point here, the expression of the of the posture, the last part. Feel the ball. You set the 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 left knee and release the coil. You're spiraling down to the right. So notice I'm facing you. I'm going to be heading that way, but I've spiraled down to the right. I feel the ball of the left foot, set the left knee, spiral down to the right. So now I'm going to then engage and turn. As I turn my quad, or turn my waist, you know, using the quad, I'm reach with the left elbow. So the, notice that my arm is sung. It's very relaxed, but there's tensegrity within that structure. So I feel reach with the elbow, opening up the shoulder joint. So just like Maria was saying, you reach down here at an angle. So you've got, got that goes, you're opening up that. And that allows the energy to move through and connect up the whole arm is as one unit now. But it's also connected up to the other hand. So we're here like this. And as we turn, we reach with that elbow and the left arm, I'm just going to focus on that right now. The left arm, as I turn, I'm going to reach with my wrist. And the wrist reaches and my arm forearm rotates. So notice that I'm like this. And as I turn, my arm is going through this process of, of rotating. So we're getting this spiraling gin coming up and it's coming up from the, through the feet, through the whole system here. And you're going to rotate uh, as, as you're turning the waist, you're rotating the forearm, reaching with the wrist. So you end up with the arm in front of your chest, the palm of your hand over the center line. And, and this is important too, so that the location of the hand. You don't want to have your hand out here like that, you know, nor do you want it crossing your body like this, nor do you want to have it out here. So just, just feel into like, like feel the hand out here. Just notice that if you're trying to direct energy that way, just it's not efficient. So you bring it in, 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 and, and notice that there's a point here where it starts to get very powerful. And then as you continue past that, it tends to dissipate. And this is something that's easily demonstrated by having someone leaning on your arm, but you come back, reaching with that elbow, come back here and over the center line, the palm of the hand over the center line, that's the sweet spot. So as you're coming up, the other thing in here is, notice as I'm coming up, my hand is coming up the center line. And as I turn, I'm going to rotate the forearm, but my whole body's turning so that we're getting this as one unit. If I'm doing it facing you. You can see I'm here like this. I reach with the elbow, and as I turn the body, reaching with the elbow, now I'm reaching with the wrist. Notice that the forearm is rotating as I do that. I'm coming up the center line, rotating, and so my hand stays at, on the center line. You can see it's this way, boom, I'm coming up, rotate, boom, 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 like that. If I'm <laughs> using 
the whole posture, I use my right hand also to brush down. So this is yin, the pulling away is amplifying, the poles in opposition are then amplifying the energy field in that. So the key tying in the song idea is that if I try to do this using my muscular contraction, I got nothing. There's no power there at all. But paradoxically, the more I can release that muscular tension, release down into the structure of the connective tissue system and feel that whole body energetic connection and turn, boom, and I have a ward off with the left hand. So that, uh, How'd that work for you, JB? Any questions on that? You're on mute. Okay. To quote Carly Simon, nobody does it better. Thank you. <laughs> cool. <laughs> um, cool. So let's uh, let's do that. Let's do it the other side. Same idea here. Do it with the right, the right foot. So we're gonna do the same thing. Feel the ball. Set the knee. Spiral down. So you're loading up that right leg. Okay. You got your right hand here. You reach with the right elbow. And as you turn, the right reach with the right wrist. And comes up and your arm rotates as you turn your body. So you end up with the hand over the center line. So you're going like this, boom, 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 boom like that. So let's do that again. So feel the ball, set the knee, spiral down. And as you turn, Right hand comes up, right wrist, you're reaching with that elbow. So that connects the dots. Feel the sung in the arm. It's like you're swimming through the air. Feel the resistance of the air as you move through it. Got uh, Peter's Jello here. Okay, come down, boom, elbow, wrist, rotate. So here, in this posture, you want to feel your arm reaching out. You're lengthening, so it you're going to feel. The guitar strings getting taut as you do that. The, the muscles are relaxed, but but the arm is the connective tissue is getting toned. You're you're tuning up the guitar string here. So now you have something, even though that arm is relaxed, there's no muscular tension, it still has resilience. It's got that tensile strength that permits it to, to bounce things away. And the, um, time to go, we got, I don't have very much time to do this. So the, uh, so, um, learning to, to um, incorporate the Pong Jin. We've explored that in, in classes past, but you know, getting that up and out energy so you want to feel the yin chi from the earth coming up and expressing itself out. So the yin is becoming yang as you do this. So just bring, go into that posture 
with the right arm there that ward off posture and relax your shoulders, reach with both elbows, reach, reach with your fingers, reach with your wrists, reach with the crown of your head. And just feel your, feel what's going on inside your body. So you can spend a lot of time just doing this, just getting, creating a structure like this and allow your body mind to attune to it. Because this uh, gets the, the energy really hopping. Cool, okay. Why don't you uh, grab a seat? We've got a few minutes. We can uh, handle any questions or comments. That was pretty powerful, Rick. Great. Yay. Fun stuff. It's good for you, Keith, because you're rehabbing your shoulders. So it, uh, it, that uh, you're, you're, you'll be training them to do something different than they've always done. Well, and I that's do gonna make it can make a difference. I do have to say, as part of my rehab, which is so much different than my right wing that I had done in 2019, I am leaps and bounds way ahead of that, and I attribute a lot of that to the Tai Chi, Wonderful. you know, of just like learning how to move and posture. And because that's all the stuff that like created us to begin with. Great. Kind of funny after 60 years <laughs> and, and, and out in the, like the Hicks of Pennsylvania, you know, Ricky dog, like helped me figure something out. <laughs> never, never too late. <laughs> cool. Yeah. Rick. Something very interesting happened tonight. As you, I think I've mentioned, I do uh, about a half an hour of this sort of thing in the mo every morning. But usually when I'm on my own, the fingers will get cold and it'll take me a while to get into the uh, big chi. But tonight, as soon as I turned this on, the fingers started going and then the mm -hmm. body follows suit. So the, the power of the mind is spectacular because you're, I'm now doing like a Barrett's dog. As soon as you show up, the body goes, oh boy. So <laughs> I'm going to have to get a recording for you every morning. Yes. <laughs> Definitely. That's good. Okay, Ricky, just send out uh, a loop of your laugh, and that'll send everyone into the big chi. <laughs> uh, cool. Anybody else? Where we, uh, Lynn? Oh, I was just gonna say um, the the bringing. You know, it always feels great, but tonight I really noticed that connection between the middle dan tian. And this energy, like when you hit that right spot, as you were saying, on the center line, you just get that zinging back and forth of, of energy, you know, that was like very nice. Yeah, thank you for pointing that out. That, that's, that's, that's super important. It's, it's really subtle, so you have to kind of spend a, a little time exploring it. But it, once, once you start getting familiar with this, like, why why would i not <laughs> well and that's a really good point that lynn pointed out because there is a huge difference about being within your center and being outside your center and the whole feeling that your body gets mm -hmm. and you, you kept drawing back to that about keeping things to the center yeah which i'll you know so that's 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 really good. Great. Beautiful. Richard. You're on mute. You're on mute. He's not on mute, but we can't hear him. Okay. <laughs> I guess your your microphone's not working. 
Cool. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you can put it in the text if you like <laughs> in the chat. Um, cool. Anybody else? Okay. Valerie. Well, this kind of goes without saying, but I'm going to say it anyway. The difference between um, standing there and being held up by your own energy, you know, by the tensegrity, by and being sung, what that feels like, you know, it feels very powerful. And then if you tense up instead, it, well, at least now it feels kind of ugly <laughs> you know if you're just standing there and you tense up the muscles it's just kind of mm, disagreeable but then right. when you you know let be in some it is it's very full very powerful and it just feels delicious there and it's very it's very funny i think it's not ha ha funny but you know the difference between the two it's it feels nourishing <laughs> Ah, yeah. Ah, yeah. Vitality. That, uh, you know, spirit of vitality just flows through the whole system. So great. Beautiful. Thank you, everybody. Love Thank you, you all. Thank you, Rick. Thank you. Thank you, Maria. Thank you, Maria. Thank you, Maria. Thank you, Maria. Uh, I'm going to remind him next week to do the spring tiger. Okay. Spring tiger. All right. Hey, Maria, when are we going to see you show us some news? <laughs> well, that, that costs extra. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Very good. Very it's, good. A parlor, it's a parlor show. <laughs> Have a great week, guys. Bye-bye. <laughs>